today we're going to be making a strawberry pie cake. Yum. Okay, let's get started. It's easy. It's uh, delicious. Okay, all you're going to need is a white cake mix, two eggs, a fourth of a cup of milk, and a can of this stuff. Okay, and some vanilla, one teaspoon of vanilla, two eggs, room temperature. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our cake mix in our bowl. And you get, you get your cake and your pie all in one uh, recipe. Now you're not gonna wanna go by the directions on this box. You're gonna wanna go by what I'm gonna tell you. So you're gonna go and put your one cake mix in here and then a fourth of a cup of milk, okay? And then two eggs. Two eggs, and I just usually use large because that's usually what we always buy. Okay, and then we're gonna do a, t a teaspoon of vanilla, and I'm using real vanilla. Let me get this from Mexico, we're close enough. Okay, here in Texas, we're close enough to get that. Alrighty, and then a can of our strawberry pie filling. That's where you get the pie. Mm, it smells good. Okay, put that all in there, then we're gonna blend it up. Now the icing on here, it takes another can of this stuff. And it's so pretty. Oh man, the color is so pretty. I know it's got probably food coloring in it, but it's still gorgeous. Okay, now we're gonna mix that up. Oh, I forgot my beaters. Let me grab my beaters. Try to be all ready for y'all, and it seems like I always forget one thing. Okay, so we'll get our beaters in here, and we'll beat it up. Okay, so we got it all beat. And while you're making your cake, make sure you set out your ingredients for your uh, topping, your icing, which would be a stick of butter and a block of cream cheese, and let that get to uh, room temperature. Okay, so I got my, that all beat. Now let's spray our pan, and I like using Baker's Joy, because it's got the flour in it. And I usually use a lot, I know probably two more than you would, but I like to make sure it works. Okay, now let's put our cake in here. And we're just gonna cook this on 350 till it's done, till it pulls away from the sides. That's the way you know it's done, or you can stick a toothpick in the center. Okay. Get it all smooth. Christopher's bachelor party is this weekend. Our son is getting married next month in May. And so I wanted to make something for the guys. They're all coming down to help him work on his uh, yard of his new house. We got everything in the inside done, but the outside still needs uh, some yard work and stuff. So. We're gonna try to play golf and do a couple fun things, but he's got a an awesome group of guys coming to help him. Okay, just gonna make sure we don't have any bubbles. All right, now we're gonna stick this in 350 oven until it's done. Okay, our cake is ready, and now we're gonna make the icing. And it's just four ingredients. We're gonna put our cream cheese and a stick of butter. 
And we're gonna use, um, if you can find the pound, the one pound boxes of powdered sugar, we live in the country and so our little stores, they just sell the two pound bag. So, but we're only gonna need uh, one pound, okay? So, your cream cheese and a stick of butter and a teaspoon of vanilla. And I've been letting these sit out so they'll be soft. Okay, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And this is real vanilla, like I said. And then we're gonna use half of this uh, two pound bag. So we're gonna use one pound. And I'm probably just gonna guesstimate Pour it in there, and then we're going to mix it all together. And I probably should have creamed that, and I just started doing it. Let me go ahead and just cream this together before I start adding all that. This is a, oh, this is a good icing. And you do have to keep it refrigerated because of your cream cheese. Hopefully we don't get a big cloud. Okay, I'm gonna add my other, my, 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 my sugar. Okay. I cut a little hole because I wanted to be able to control it. Um, maybe a tad more. Okay. Okay, we're going to cream this together, and then we're going to put it on our cake. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of milk, just because this is, um, uh, still a little hard. Good, let's test it. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. Nothing like licking the beaters. Okay, now we're gonna ice that cake. Wash my hands. I love buttercream icing. Oh, this looks good. And then we're going to open that last can of, um, that last can of strawberry pie filling, and we're going to put it on top. You're going to love this cake. It's so easy, and it is a crowd pleaser. Boys are going to love it. Grab one. 
these wooden spoons and you want to just kind of put it right there in the middle. Don't spread it all the way to the edge. Okay? Because that makes, it kind of makes it look pretty, I think. Just to kind of spread it. And use this whole can. people on the edge may fight for the middle pieces. <laughs> they may not want to end piece. Okay. All right. This is your strawberry pie cake. And you're going to love it. <laughs> okay, let me show you. Isn't that pretty? And it tastes as good as it looks, maybe better. <laughs> All right, we hope you've enjoyed this recipe. If you have, give us a thumbs up, share the recipe, and subscribe to us so you can see what we're cooking next. We have a Facebook page, and we also have an Instagram page, so check us out, Boots and Bonnets with Chris and Christy. And we'll see you next time. Bye.